Okay, so in this video today, we're going to show you how to enable motion detection on your device. So, there are two ways of doing this. The first option is where your device is recording all the time, but you're easily able to find where there was movement, where an event occurred. The second option is to be that there's no recording unless there's motion detection. So this is a good option if you only want to be notified, only want proof of movement, anything like that. It's also very good for your storage because rather than recording 24 seven, you're only recording set amounts in the day. So first one we're going to do is when you're recording for 24 seven, but you're able to find motion detection quite clearly. So first thing we're going to look at is this red symbol here. This red symbol here basically means that it's just recording. So the reason that's happening is because once you go on storage, so after you so go back to the screen, right click, there's this bar here, go up to storage, and we're on this screen here. Our settings have been put at continuous, so that means it's always recording every hour of every day. If your options are say on none, your device won't be recording at all. So once we go back on our screen, that red symbol is no longer there. So go back onto storage and you can select what occurs at what hour on what day. So we're just going to click and highlight everything for convenience. So it's just going to continually record. Those settings have been applied. But what we're going to do now, we're going to turn on motion detection. So we go into system, we go into event, and then we select the camera, press enable. So that means that whenever there's movement, I haven't applied it yet, whenever there's movement, that will be detected. It's detected for, so you see these grids, those pixels, if there's any change in them, they're highlighted. So that's the motion detection. It won't detect, say, if the room gets cold or any heat, anything like that. You can also alter the sensitivity. Standard setting is just to have it at the middle. And we apply this. Another good option, you can basically clear the whole screen and select which areas you'd like to have motion detection. So if you've got a window, and cars pass by through that the night, you don't always want that to be de detected. You just want motion detection at the door in case anyone comes in. So the door's in this corner of the room. You highlight that corner, apply that, and motion detection only occurs there. So motion's detected here, but if there's cars passing by this side, that's not detected. We're just going to apply it to the whole screen now, and we're going to go back onto our live camera. So the red icon is still there because it's still recording. However, once there's motion detection, a bell icon comes up as well. That's just symbolizing that there's an event going on. We can identify these areas going on to playback. So select whatever camera or device you need and it will show you this little thing here. This is basically keyed. So the blue events are where it's normal recording, normal action. The red yellow events are where there is um, an event. So if it's detected any movement, that will come up as red. And the gray areas are where there's no recording. That will happen on the second option, which I'm going to go over now. So that's where you've selected to only record if at a certain time, or if there's movement detected. So we'll refresh this completely. So everything's continuous, system, event, unable, the motion detection. So here, the bell icon no longer comes on because there's no longer motion detection. So in the second option, we only want it to record once there's motion. So we right click, go on to storage, and here where it's got your options, you can select motion. So say you only want motion detection, if it's a shop, you only want it outside of working hours to see if there's anyone gone inside the shop. And throughout the day, you want it to record continuously. You have the option of selecting that. You're able to choose each part per day. Or if, say, when you're in the store prepping it, you don't want any recording, you can also choose none not to record there. 
For convenience, we're just going to select motion throughout and apply that. So then again, you have to go on to uh, system event and then motion detection. Here it's already enabled. So we'll enable that and we go back onto our live view. So you can see here, the red icon is no longer there. That means that it's no longer recording because we've decided we don't want recording unless there's motion. You'll see as soon as my arm goes in front of the camera, both the bell symbol and the red icon come up to show there's motion detection and it's recording because of that. So we can also check on playback, camera, so same key. Gray where it wasn't recording, so say. So these gaps here, where it's gray, then it goes red. That means it wasn't recording, but there was motion detection, so it started recording. What else we can do is we can go on to system, event, and then this option, linkage action. This basically decides what your device is going to do if there is motion detection. So the first thing we're going to demonstrate is audible warning. So if you apply that, go back onto your camera, everything's fine. Once there's motion detection, the device beeps. This can act as a warning just in case there is someone in the store or your property and they leave. But this can make them leave. It's not guaranteed, but it's a slight warning until you can do something else. The other options we can go back to. So there's a notify surveillance center. This is so when you have the app and you've linked your accounts, you've linked the cameras or the devices and everything. That's what the surveillance center is. So you have to make sure that on the app <coughs> you have selected to enable push notifications so that you can be notified once there is motion detection. You can also choose to send an email. So it will send, I think, something like five pictures to your email address. There will be another video on how to link your email address to this account. There's also upload captured pictures to cloud. So anything like iCloud, Google Drive, Dropbox, it can send pictures to that and be stored. <coughs> There's an option called trigger alarm output. This is basically where you have an alarm system on your property or anything like that. You can link this so that once there is motion detection, that alarm system is triggered and it goes off. There's also trigger channel. So this basically says if there's movement on camera one, bring up camera five for me, something like that. You can choose what options you'd like. So, if you want to enable this, you just go back onto system, event, enable, and it no longer, wait, sorry, apply, and that no longer applies. And again, to turn your settings back to normal, you want continuous recording, go on to storage, select continuous or whichever option you're looking to do, click and drag the desired areas, apply, go back onto your live view and we can see the red symbol is back, it's recording, the settings have gone back to normal.